I'm about to do another order. Unless you want to come, come help Sherry. Come help us pass, uh, pack orders. Well, the water decals, are you excited, Miss Cindy? So these are the water decals, and they're really, really beautiful. I love them. One thing to note is that when you do a water uh, design with water decals or stickers in general, we want to use a light or, uh, yeah, not too bright, but a light base color. Whether it be like um, a pink 12, which is a milky white, or something that is more on the uh, semi-sheer, not fully sheer, but something that is more along those kinds of like uh, grays, beiges, a light color. So that way, whatever design we do on top comes through and it pops more. Think of it as a canvas. If you paint a, like a light color or a sheer color on top of a dark canvas, whether it be navy blue, purple, dark green, black, charcoal, whatever, that light color will not come through. It'll get lost. But if, that's why canvases are white, so that way when you paint a light color on there, it acts as an intensifier, if you will. Same concept comes with water decals, which are our magic dresses or um, our sticker line. Some stickers you can get away with, with a dark base though, especially like gold stickers, silver stickers. They look beautiful. So this is the blooming foil, foil, the blooming uh, water decal set. And I really want to do the raccoon, but if you guys want me to do some flowers, let me know and I'll do a flower design because the flowers in this set are just really, really stunning. I mean, they are so beautiful. So let me know what you guys want. Oh, thank you. She's like, lots of love, much. we appreciate that. I have one for the raccoon. I can't, not my other one to do donuts, and I can't wait to do the set tonight. I hope you enjoy it, and your nose turn out beautifully. I have two for the raccoon. Do we have three for the raccoon? We have three for the raccoon. For the mapache. So let's trim Mr. Raccoon. Samba set, which is a little bit more fun, a little bit more vivid. Here is my Samba set. Oops. So we have this really beautiful, like, tropical leaf looking one. We have this really pretty, flowery, tropical one. More flowers. Composition design. watercolor looking one. I want to do these are really pretty. Let's do this one. This watercolor looking one. That's really dope. Peel off the plastic. I always leave it on because I am a, a dust. with the lavender aching. Nice 
nice and sharp just for the display for the fun to see. And then we're going to take the smoothie buff, the purple buffer, sorry, and just remove the sign really quickly. So that way we have a nice canvas for our design. Really pretty lip gloss color. It's a cucumber 13. This one is 14. This is beige. That one? No, that one I bought in South Korea. Oh, that's what you're to look right now, right? Um, on top of that. I have uh, back lip oil. Uh, yeah, you want to do it now? Mm -hmm. Yes. Where is... Oh, here she is. 15 is the lavender one. So we're going to use number 15, a pink 15, for the base for the Samba water detail one. And you can see it's just a really pretty light lavender for the base. Isn't that lovely? And then for Mr. Mapache, we're going to use 1812. Mm -hmm. Are you 12? 7? Go. 15. 13. Oh, I know it's her son. She's hiding from me. Gloria probably got her. Here she is. Number four. Antonio Camilla Wilson is here. I need to get that lavender color. It is lovely. I like that one. Got a client. It's a mapache! It's a raccoon! We call the raccoon in Germany Wash. Wash bar. Did I say that properly? So, this is a famous Milky A Pink, number 12. For the water decals, what I found works best is actually using room temperature water, okay? Don't use it with water that's too cold or water that's too hot because it just makes it a little bit more difficult.
pretty that is. Oh, this lavender is stunning. I'm gonna let that soak for a little bit. And we're gonna leave the base of the nail stick, but we're not gonna put anything on top of it. So whether you're using a regular color or a pink in this case, cure it for about 30 seconds and leave the oxygen inhibition layer or the sticky layer on the nail. If you're using a glitter, I would put um, like a, a thin layer of base gel on top of that glitter so that way you have something that is smooth to adhere the water decal to. Or if you're, a stick, if you're using a sticker, use Dom Top on top of that glitter so that we have a really smooth surface. So now we're going to take our silicone applicator tool, which this can also be used for stamping, but I use it to pick up the water decals. Make sure there's no wrinkles in it, and then we're going to position it where we want it. I want mine right here. And press. And look at that, nice and smooth, easy breezy beautiful. Lovely. So now let's do a little raccoon. This from a pache. Then we're going to use a little hack. We're going to take our primer and we're going to melt the edges of it, okay? We're going to use it very sparingly, very, very sparingly. You have to use a non acid primer when doing this hack. And if you rub too hard, you will remove the design. So that's why you really gently rub it along the edges, okay? Very, very gently along the wrapping design. If you press too hard, remember you guys, you're going to remove the design. So almost like you're frosting a cake. There we go. Water decals or any kind of sticker or anything like that always looks best with two coats of top coats. So the first one is going to be Shiny Star Venus on this one. Especially if you 
Wonder where the nail is shiny. It's so stunning. And this one I'm just gonna use regular Wonder Gel. Because I want to leave Mr. Mapache, I want to leave Mr. Raccoon as the center of the design. If I had anything around him, I feel like it would be too much. Si sí, es la botella que es transparente con, y se ve el morado el líquido. And we're going to use a velvet gel. Let's go in and put in a nice coat of velvet to make the nail matte because you guys know I love matte nails. Velvet is life. I am obsessed with matte gels. I don't know why, but what witchcraft the uh, matte gels have done to me, but I am living for the matte nail fantasy. She did not bend over because she's got a butt in the oven. What is it? Oh, that's right. You told me she was like pushing up against you. These are the two from Instagram, you guys. And who is ready for the two from Facebook? Those are cute. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Doesn't he look hand painted, you guys? Mr. Mapache? He looks like Nico from Pocahontas. Really? Doesn't he look like he's hand painted? Yes, of course. Sure nobody said anything. Why did Paul's head explode? He said it's actually a lot of people have said that the the, uh, the second half is really bad. I think the idea of alien abduction is really cool, but I think the way it's executed from what everyone's saying is not well at all. What do you guys think? Do you love it? And that's gonna be a wrap, my loves. Hold on, let me take this off the tripod though first. First, we're gonna get a really nice shot of the nails. Very pretty, the raccoon. No, these are water decals. These are the water. 
water kind. So our magic nail dress, we added two new ones, Samba and Blooming. Huh? Mm-hmm. Why? You used to shop at Bloomingdale's? Oh. Bloomingdale's? Bloomingdale's closed in the 2000s, I think. Bloomingdale's, Lord & Taylor, Saks Fifth Avenue, all those. Really? Wow, that's fancy. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's little demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank, thank you guys so, so much for being patient right now with the shipping delays, but what can I say? I love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. I know that's hard for some of us, and I will see you guys in the next li live video. Bye, everybody.